welcome to FXDD TV. I'm your host Lauren and with me today is Fred Scala, Vice President of Forexware. Fred has decades of experience in Forex industry and he will be doing a series of videos on tips to be a successful trader. Please keep an eye out for this series in the future. Thank you, Lauren. I, I just want to go through a, a couple of key points that I learned early on in my career about how to be a successful trader. Um, as you see from this, this screen that's up, uh, three groups of squiggly lines that make no sense to anyone. But I think it's very important to know what your personality type is. If you look at the top line, it's a bunch of uh, squiggly lines, high and low, high and low, high and low. And what it really represents is the, uh, the mindset of a short-term trader. A short-term trader is somebody, someone who buys at 15 and sells at 16 and then buys at 11 and sells at 13. And it continually may do 20, 50, 100 trades in a day, all with small losses and small profits. And he sets his targets as such with small increments. The second line is something a little bit more robust. Somebody that's looking for bigger moves. Somebody that's looking for uh, a move where he buys at 112 and sells at 113 and buys euro dollar at, uh, at 112.50 and sells at 114. Uh, the medium term trader is somebody that's going to look to trade a couple of hours uh, or a couple of days. That's his horizon. Whereas the short term trader is really looking at minutes to maybe maximum hours. And then on the bottom you see this long term one swooping line. And that's really uh, an investor type. Somebody that buys in January and sells in June. Now there's benefits and fallbacks with each of these. As a short term trader, um, you, you're looking for profit potential of, of pips, 2 pips, 5 pips, 10 or 20 pips, and you should set, set your stop losses accordingly. So you don't want to um, put a 50 pip stop loss on a, uh, as a very short term trader. It's not, uh, it, it's, it's not where you want to be in terms of your risk management approach. Conversely, if you're a long-term trader, if you're somebody that's, that's read an article on maybe the aging population in Japan, you don't want to put your stop loss 20 pips away. If you're looking something that's going to occur over the next 10 years, 5 years, 3 years, your focus is, is a little different. And it's very important to know what type of trader you are. If you're a short-term trader, that's fine. You're going to do 10, 20, 50 trades in a day and make small losses and small profits and hopefully your profits are much more than your losses but at least you're going to be focused on what your strengths are. As a medium term trader you're going to be able to uh, set your stop losses once again. If you're looking for profit potential of 50 points to 100 points to 250 points you don't want to leave a stop loss 10 pips away because you'll constantly be running into stops and you'll, you'll erode all your capital. So you have to keep that uh, all in mind. As a long-term trader, somebody that I said buys in January and sells in June, you're going to have to sit through a, a, a series of numbers. You may sit through three or four different GDP numbers and three or four different non-farm payroll numbers. Uh, you're going to have a lot of political news that comes out over time. And you have to be able to withstand those big ups and big downs in your, uh, in your capital position. So just something to keep in mind. One of the tips that I learned, as I said, early on in my career is know what type of trader you are. It's, it's very important to know where your mindset is. Thank you, Fred. I'm sure our viewers will benefit from your first tip. Thank you. Well, that concludes our episode for today. Thank you for being with us. If you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to our customer support team. We're available for you 24 hours, five days a week. Thank you and see you soon.